Hello guys, thanks for watching. Adrian here from Epsid. So uh, in this short video, I will uh, say a few words about uh, an open source uh, seed project provided by us um, that implements uh, on top of Flask uh, a super minimal uh, e-commerce uh, product that uses uh, JSON files to to save the uh, product information and uh, a minimal uh, routing. Uh, uh, logic that uh, loads the JSON files from a certain uh, directory and uh, provide the um, page in the browser. Um, the, the product uh, supports also Docker, so in case you prefer a deployment using the Docker container, you, you, you have it. So uh, let's uh, go to the source code. So the source code uh, it's uh, saved in uh, GitHub. I will uh, use um, both uh, both setups with uh, Docker and uh, the manual build. Uh, how it works? You just need to set up in the environment the Stripe secrets, the public and the private key. Uh, the application starts. In case you um, uh, the, the products are defined, the application automatically build the interface. So. Uh, this is the UI. If you go to the to the root of the site, you will see this page, which starts with the um, uh, featured product defined here in the products directory. There is a featured.json, and uh, the rest of the product. Uh, if you let's click on this one, um, click on the buy product. You are in case you you like the the product. We have uh, both um, uh, use cases covered when the user cancels the, the payment and also when confirms the payment. In the first uh, scenario, I will uh, cancel the payment, so uh, the callback is uh, tracked uh, uh, without issues by the application. Let's uh, go back and um, go with the purchase. Um, we are uh, make sure that your key runs in test mode just to avoid uh, charging your your card. Um, I will use uh, the official AppSeed uh, email. I will use also a card, uh, a demo card uh, provided by by Stripey, which is four two four two until the end. Here we can put a uh, any timestamp that uh, uh, for the for the card let's put it in the future of course and here is not important John Doe so uh, once you click the pay uh, button Stripe it does all the checks and uh, we have the the payment is successful uh, we have here the session and also the the path is uh, is managed successfully by the by the application. Um, so basically, if you want to define a, a new product, you just need to duplicate the JSON, put here a, a new a new price, and uh, describe your your product, and you are good to go. You will collect the payment. Let's uh, update uh, the Docker and uh, disable the. No, let, let let's uh, start using the the manual build. So uh, once you install, you follow up the usual installation steps with the virtual environment. Install the dependencies and um, uh, duplicate here the environment sample. Uh, there are all the. Um, the entire context required by the by the flask is uh, is documented here just duplicate the environment file and uh, create your own dot uh, environment uh, you should be able to use the application i will uh, start the application using flask run uh, and access the application in the browser basically the same thing if you go to buy product You'll uh, the information is uh, so uh, is uh, displayed correctly. So we have here paint Saint German strike. Okay, so is this one? So we have here the, the price, which is uh, 
59 okay I will cancel the I'll cancel the payment and update here the price let's say I want to uh, to get more money from the user uh, okay let's go to the products uh, German strike so we can see that the um, the price was automatically updated here and uh, in case user um, is uh, willing to pay you will get more money for the product let's uh, stop the application and uh, just uh, command the uh, stripe secret in this case the application detects uh, in the configuration that you didn't uh, provide a stripe secret and uh, if the user tries to uh, go with the purchase you will uh, the application should uh, notify the user that uh, the configuration of the app is, uh, is is not good so guys thanks for watching feel free to uh, use the product uh, it's open source uh, soon this super super minimal um, UI uh, and the uh, product will be migrated to fast API and Django just to provide a, a minimal use case so basically in order to sell your products you can use this amazing design from creative team um, you just need to put your uh, uh, stripe secrets in the in the environment and uh, define your products using this uh, minimal JSON uh, file uh, so it basically you are good to go with a super nice secure uh, e-commerce minimal e-commerce product in just a few minutes uh, being uh, without database without authentication uh, there's nothing to hack the money are processed by stripey so it's it's an ideal product for super simple landing pages that tries to sell um, thanks for watching. Sources are published on GitHub. Uh, in case we have issues, uh, uh, access AppSeed. We are we have here and resources a uh, support page. Uh, send us an email or chat with us on Discord. We are more than 1,000 developers on Discord, so uh, and the um, uh, community is super super nice. Guys, thanks for watching again. Uh, let us know what you think about the product and uh, I wish you all as always a super super day. Bye.